My name is Mike Schultz. I've raced dirt bikes and snowmobiles. I have four X Games gold medals, and I'm a left leg amputee. Ever since I was little, I, I grew up out in the country on the farm, and we had three wheelers and four wheelers, and, and I just loved to, to ride and ride my bicycle. And, and I got into BMX racing when I was about 13 years old, lining up with, with uh, other guys on the start gate and uh, taking off, trying to beat them to the finish line. It was kind of addicting after the first time I tried it. So I started racing the, the dirt bikes in, in 97. I worked my way up into the expert class at the district level. Um, but the snowmobile ended up being my forte, and the dirt bike kind of took the back seat as, as a training tool, basically, or a cross-training tool for the snowmobile season. My, my snowmobile race career was going awesome. I mean, uh, I made it up to actually one of the, the top five guys in the world on the snowcross machine, and, uh, which, was, which was going really well. So I was looking, looking strong going into the season, and uh, it was first qualifying race of that morning, uh, December 13th, 2008. Uh, the starter flew the green flag and I was kind of in a good position coming down this, this whoop section downhill and I just made a charge and, and my sled started swapping side to side. And uh, I'm like, ah, I, I couldn't hold on to it and it kind of bucked me off the sled. Just the way my foot impacted the ground, it hyperextended my knee joint basically 180 degrees and uh, kicked myself in the chin. Instantly, I was like in the worst pain ever. Thankfully, my, my wife Sarah was there. She's a nurse and yeah, I was, it was really good she was there because it was, you know, I was kind of freaking out and uh, she kind of kicked into nursing mode and, and tried to keep me calm. A few months later, towards spring, I, I got word that uh, they're bringing adaptive Supercross to the Summer X Games which is super cross with uh, guys with amputated legs and arms or, or um, you know, even paraplegics uh, were out there racing bikes. And that's when I had the idea of starting to work on my own prosthetic leg. In March 2009 is when I started drawing on my, my first creation. Uh, I ended up calling it the Moto Knee, which is, is still what I call it today. And I'm just, you know, scratching my head. I'm like, okay, you know, I've got this much space to work with. I need to have this much range of motion to be similar to my, my real leg. And, you know, right away I knew I was going to use this little Fox mountain bike shock. Um, it's got compressed air in it as a spring, so it's, it's super lightweight and adjustable. And I tell you what, I was, I was so excited, you know, putting these pieces together. It's, it's way deeper than just building something in the shop. I mean, this, I'm gonna connect it to my leg and I'm gonna walk on it and, and ride my dirt bike. So I, I hoped. <laughs> and I'm putting this thing together and I, I put it onto my socket and I kind of squat up and down on it. And I'm like, yeah, this, this kind of feels how I, I thought it was gonna. And I tuned the shock a little bit to uh, give it a little more dampening on the, on the compression side of things. And after a couple of adjustments, I, I put it back on and headed down the, the trail and within you know, less than a minute, I knew I was really on to something good. I, I come back into the house and my smile's from ear to ear and I, I'm just so excited telling Sarah about my moto knee and how well it works. And I, I, think, I think I'm gonna go racing again. And, uh, and she's like, okay. <laughs> Seven months after my accident, we're headed out to Los Angeles to the Summer X Games to race my dirt bike after I had my leg amputated. And I just kind of step back and look at that whole situation I'm like, wow, that's lots happened in the last few months. Uh, but yeah, we headed out there and, and I, I, my goal was to medal. I wanted to be one of the top three so I could bring home X Games hardware. I ended up uh, taking silver medal out of the deal, but uh, for me, it was just as good as gold. I mean, to be out there after what I had gone through so recently and, and uh, 
yeah, it, it was a heck of a highlight for my race career, and I'm like, I want to keep doing this. <laughs> I realized that, you know what, there's, there's a lot of other guys that could benefit from something like this as well. So I'm like, yeah, I, I think I should, uh, should start my company, which I come up with Biodapt in uh, July 2010. That summer, I, I worked on development and having a, a few other guys try it out to get feedback. And I tell you what, seeing somebody else get on my equipment and just be able to make it rip is uh, so rewarding. The racing thing, it's its just so deep in my blood. Yeah, I've, I'm a competitor, you know, from the ground up. And I need that adrenaline rush. I need that, that you know, that, those butterflies in my stomach when I line up at the gate. And and that's that's what a lot of people just don't understand. They're like, why, why do you want to put yourself in that position, you know, and have that opportunity or that likelihood you're going to get hurt again? Why, why do you do that? And it's like, Every other racer knows knows what it is. It's just that adrenaline rush and that that feeling of of you know just just going fast and competing against the guy next to you and 